Our topic is an intriguing topic. The Quran, the Great War, and the West. And while there are many, many in the world who are already expecting, anticipating that there is going to be a great war, and it will be comparable and even greater than the two great wars we've already had in the last century, the First World War and the Second World War. They have come to the conclusion that a great war is coming based on political analysis, based on analysis of military affairs, etc. But we are approaching the subject from a different perspective. We are approaching the subject from the perspective of religion. And so this is not a secular analysis. And secular scholarship, the ones who have done their PhDs in political science from Columbia University and from Harvard, uh, secular scholarship is quite uncomfortable with religion, religion intruding in what they consider to be their exclusive scholarly space. And so tonight's lecture presents more than simply a minor problem for those who are ministers of government today, advising the new prime minister of Pakistan, and uh, those who are holding the chairs of political science, etc., in different universities, and are advisors. And so we are going to speak slowly and briefly, uh, so that hopefully we might be able to, with Allah's kindness, make an impact upon the secular mind. The religious mind already has faith in its heart. But the secular mind is not. And there's another reason why we have to be brief. Today mankind lives in what is known as the fast lane where things are moving faster and yet faster. A whole year passes as though it was just a month. And a whole month passes as though it was just a week. And the whole week passes as though it was just a day. Are you familiar with these words? Yes, you shake your heads. This is the prophecy. This is the prophecy, not of a political science professor from Columbia University. This is the prophecy of a man named Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The fast lane in life. And in the fast lane of life, attention span becomes shorter and shorter. So if today we speak for 45 minutes, and after that, they still cannot, they cannot absorb anything beyond that. Tomorrow we'll have to speak for half an hour. And beyond that, they won't be able to absorb because the attention span is contracting. Because this is Akhiru Zaman, the end time. Secular scholarship knows nothing about the end time. But our Prophet, Allah's blessings be upon him, told us that there is going to be Akhiru Zaman or the end time. And we